Everyone, it's the AGM. Welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. In the last episode, we managed to get through some more World Flower, and I also cleared up the uh, extra green star we missed and a few more flagpoles. So, we have everything done so far, and hopefully, we don't have to go back for anything in this episode. So, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And without further ado, let's get started. Kind of went a little bit out of order, so we're going to be starting off with Flower Dash 8 Blast Block Skyway. So as you can tell by the little preview type thing, you can see that, um, the return of these, except they're much faster, as you can see. And, uh, wow, it's a nuclear leaf ball. that's convenient. Probably so you can, like, float while you're waiting, I guess, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, let's just wait. And you really need Mario, that's just garbage. There's a green star. There we go. Um. No, nothing. Ready? We're gonna snipe him. All right then. There we go. We got it. Now we can move on. I, if I recall, we might use double cherry in this level. Maybe. Wow. I'm glad those time just at the right time to where that happens. Ooh, let's just wait a second. How are we supposed to time that? Or that? Weird. Let's go. You like that intense blowing action? Yep, that sounds right. Somehow we got to the second green star, though. Good, good. Down one step at a time. Why was that so hard to do? The world may never know. God, I wonder where this last green star could be. Hmm. Can I get another Tanuki suit, please? Mr. Video Game, thank you. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, he be sliding. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. On my merry way, when we are down here. Oh, we got it all. Or did we? I almost jinxed myself so hard there. That would have been hilarious, but also very mad. I'd be very mad. And good. I wasn't. That shouldn't have been as hard as it was, but it was. And that's just kind of embarrassing. But <laughs> we got the first level done, so that's good. So, if you know what we're going to be doing in the next episode, this is the last time we'll be um, not seeing any stamps, so make sure to look forward to that. And next up we got Flower Dash 10, Honeycomb Skyway. Uh, <laughs> yup. Yup. Welcome. Intuitive gameplay. You know, I felt kind of bad that I cut out all the uh, all of the last time we did it. Considering this is a rehashed version of a level from World Star, which you wouldn't think would would show up anyway, but it does. So that's. Yeah, and that sucks. And you're not gonna see any of it anyway, so it's all good. Oh my god, oh god, god, god. Wow, that's fast. That was like scary fast. You should have seen that. Like you you saw that right? Like I was on I was just about to fall. Oh boy, how mad would I have been if that happened? Like, ooh. Ooh, that would have been bad. But we're all good. So it's alright. Now we can move on to that one. 
Flower dash 11. Spiky bridge bridge sneak. Spiky. What? Spiky spike bridge sneak. What? Who comes up with these names? Oh. So it's like in that one stealth level where if you get seen, then the spikes will show up. So that's kind of a cool concept. And it disappoints me that they barely use this power up when it actually has a kind of cool concept attached to it. Even though it is just like another cat suit, but still, it's cool. So we gotta follow this kind of carefully, you know. Moving around them. First green star has got to be somewhere around here. There it is. This game is kind of like a, a waiting game, you know. And ready. And trust me, they don't stop until you move away. So you better move or else they're never going away. Also, but these are here forever, so nothing you can do about those ones. There's just one big light in the middle, so there's that. Next one. Hopefully we're not forgetting anything, because it looks like there'd be the same green star placements as uh, the original level. I'm trying to see up there, because I saw the green star, but ooh, 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 too good, too good. Let's see, anything? I have to... Oh, that's kind of awkward. How do I manage this? I don't. It was really that easy, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Over these we go. You're dead. Here's a big one. You gotta hide under these, and they'll go away. Basically the premise of this section. This is basically just Metal Gear Solid. Ooh. No! Oh my god. Thank god, I wasn't about to do that again. But we're managing it. We're managing it. We're doing good. Come on, any day now. How did we do that? Those are the type of questions you don't ask. Too good, you know? Way too good. So, past these, these past few levels, worlds like World Star and World Mushroom, they've had like their sort of final level that without the boss level. World Mushroom didn't really have it. World Star had it with Cosmic Cannon Cluster, and that was awful. But this level has a, um... That? Really a good way to go out with... Flower Dash 2, Boss Blitz. Yes. A Boss Rush. You love to see it, don't you? You better hurry up, because we have five bosses to take down in 500 seconds. First we got this guy. Usually I just go in order because the way that it seems that they ordered it was like just easiest to hardest. Because this guy is easy. We all know how it goes. We know the story. Too easy. See, you just keep doing this and it just works. Eventually he'll come back up. Wow, we already did it. Too easy. And dead. Now you may be wondering how we get like green stars and everything. In a couple of them, they'll just kind of show up. And then, yeah. So next up we have Pom Pom. And as you saw with the, um, after we finished defeating the boss, they're actually one of those little token things. That's how they really check to make sure you got all of them done. So, that's why there's five bosses. But hey, Pom Pom's already dead. And the time runs while you're waiting to get, like, stuff and stuff. So, real nice, isn't it? 
Next, we'll move on to here. It's Histocrat. Both Histocrats, might I add. So, um, two for one combo. It's actually really easy to do this one if you if you're good. Obviously, you'll need the cat suit. So, well, like I said, if you're really good, more will be showing up anyway. So. If you just do this, bounce, and then bounce. You can get them both in one go. Which is really, a, it's a huge time saver. So it's very nice that they do that. Go over here. Do the same. They get kind of mad too when the other one gets hit, so kind of leaves them up for an attack anyway so maybe it was intentional maybe not you know you never know let's see can I go up there yes I can here we go one two there we go one green star two more to go I feel like I missed one because I got the second green star. That's scary. <laughs> I don't want to come back here and do this again. Considering we have uh, the worst boss. You. This time we're using a katsu. Or, or not. You know, the strategy is the same. Just hold on to him until he's done. Or until he's shaking. Pick him back up. You know, throw him back at him. Then I'll spawn more once he's done doing this, you know. It's all the same, really. At the end of the day, it is all just the same. I almost got hit. Just spawn him and then... Come on. Stop your rolling. And... There we go. Now he's dead. For some reason, that's the first green star. Thank God. And as you can tell, this last one is a Boom Boom. How hard can Boom Boom be? Uh, that's for you to decide. I think he goes invincible, invisible the first one, doesn't he? Well, I've had higher hopes for him. <laughs> Why can you hit him before he even gets started? Like, that's just kind of sad. That makes him so much weaker. I feel like he would be a, a hard boss. If they, if they didn't, if, if I couldn't just do this. And the thing is, we have 200 seconds left, so, you know, that's good. So you may be wondering, we have one green star left. Where could it be? Well, if we unlock all these. We have one more boss to do. And it's Motley Boss Blob. What does he even turn into? He turns into, like, red. Ruby, I guess? Yeah, he usually does those gem type things, so Ruby. There he is. Why not get a double cherry? Alright, buddy, come on. I think five times he'll go this time, and then seven the next time. It's usually, I think that's what he did in the last battle, so. Wow, we're... We're pouncing on him. Is that the right word? Like when cats do that, pounce? I feel like that doesn't sound like a word anyway. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven. We lost one, boys. Pour one out for our lost third clone Luigi. There's the last green star. Hey! I recognize this little place. Give us our extra hundred seconds. We did really good. I thought we were going to do worse, but no. One Luigi can do it for all of us. Thank you, Luigi. This probably wasn't even the original one, but thank you for your service, kind sir. And there we go. Lots of 200 extra seconds roll down. That's really nice. That should be everything, then. I hope that was everything. And now, the final world is now open. Oh, man. 
Why don't we take a little bit of a look at it? Don't why don't we? If you play this game, you know what we're gonna do. Welcome to World 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 Crown. Not very big, as you can see, but it's got some of the hardest levels in the game. So, hope you guys are ready for next episode. So, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And in the next episode, we will be taking on World Crown, the final challenge in this game. So, I'll see you guys then.